I got married. Yay! Yay. Yay. How, How was, was it? it? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know you were engaged. Yeah, right? I know, right? Yeah, Ryan and I, we got engaged last March. We were engaged for about a year and a half, and we got married on July 1st. And it was, I mean, obviously people talk about their wedding day being the most special day of their whole life. And yeah. it truly, truly yeah. was yeah. the most special and beautiful day, I think, of it my was. entire life. I agree. I'll agree with that. It was so, so special to have, I mean, friends from like all walks of life my friends ryan's friends our family to have you guys there like like that was really really special i hope you guys know how much that meant to me to like have you guys there oh my god i'm gonna cry (laughs) 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 um but yeah we did a destination wedding in cancun i my whole family's in mexico ryan's family's on the east coast we kind of just have friends and family everywhere so we decided to do we had 180 people. So if, if you ever wondered, wedding. if you ever wondered what a party with a bunch of New Jersey and Mexican <laughs> people it was going to be like, this yeah. was it. Yeah, it was. And I really, we did a destination wedding because we thought it was just we had people traveling from everywhere, no matter what. And I actually lived in Cancun when I was a kid, and I think I just had always pictured having a beach wedding, and it was just a dream of mine. And I'm so unbelievably thankful that my parents actually made that happen. And my Great. mom, like unbelievable my mom was wedding planner travel agent hotel manager she like awesome. mother of the bride just um, absolutely amazing i have a question about your mom anna yeah does anna senior ever not smile because <laughs> i don't think i ever saw her without us or to the even before the wedding ever uh, without a smile on her face i know and she still is she like calls me like over the weekend she's like can we still talk about yeah. the wedding just yeah. we just want to recap uh, everything like when did she get mad at you when you were a kid did she have a smile on her face the whole probably. time when she was telling you you're grounded okay yeah probably but everything was just so like down to the T, just like the weather was perfect. The vendors were perfect. Like everything was so perfect. And I do, do really have to thank you, JC, for the most beautiful ceremony ever. It was? Okay. Absolutely. It was It was so good. You made it so personal and it was so incredible. And it was like a conversation, a hard conversation kind of with like my parents about not getting married in a church. Right. Yeah. And, but we told them, we we're like, we're going to ask JC to officiate. It's going to be really good. And my parents are so, so, so unbelievably happy with the ceremony. Oh. It's like the one thing that my dad cannot stop talking about is really? how incredible you did. And my mom wants a copy of your, um, uh, ever, everything you said. Okay. So <laughs> she wants a copy of the so ceremony. Do I. Right. So the next time I do one, okay. I'm going to say, say what JC Right. Said. The entire ceremony. I, thought that I was going to just ball my way through my vows, but I actually didn't. You did great. You did such a good I, job. Thank you. I spent the whole night before uh, practicing my vows, saying them out loud. Um, Ryan and I did spend the night separately from each other the night yeah. before. Good, good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And so the hotel had given me a suite to use as my bridal suite the day of the wedding. And so I spent the night in that suite the night before with my best friend, with my maid of honor, Aww. which was like so cute that we had a little like sleepover last night. Yeah, she's engaged kind of too. Thing. Yeah, she where's her fiance at yeah, during she this whole engaged. thing? Um, I don't know, in his room somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. With, him, with the boys. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't with about him. Um, but yeah, so for the ceremony, I did walk down the aisle to a piano cover of Enchanted by Taylor Swift, of course. Not a dry eye in the room, right? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> um, and Ryan started his vows by quoting Taylor Swift, which I loved, of course. He was like, we were both young when I first saw you, oh, which is really how well he started done. his vows, yeah. which was so, so precious. And I just, I've never seen my parents that happy. And the the whole the whole party i like can't get over how absolutely perfect everything was like i felt like the food was perfect the mm. decorations were like a- everything that i wanted them to be it was kind of tough to plan a wedding somewhere else where you're not like when we weren't yeah, there right yeah, like yeah. planning a wedding in mexico every choice was gorgeous the table settings and everything yeah but your first dance that's what everybody was trying to figure out what your first dance song would yes be. our first dance song so actually back in like 2014 before Ryan and I were even officially dating um, when Taylor Swift's 1989 album came out he listened to that entire album with me and my friend Danielle the night that it came out and there's a song on that album called you are in love and in that moment I thought this would be a really cool first dance song and so when Ryan and I started dating I kind of always had it in the back of my mind but I never told him obviously like hey by the way I already picked out our first dance song for our <laughs> oh, wedding. Oh was that news to him? <laughs> so after he proposed and we started talking about it I told him I was like hey by the way I've had our first dance song picked out for about eight years now. Oh. <laughs> so it's actually not up for debate sorry. <laughs> um, he was fine with it I'm sure. He, he loved it. He oh god I cried. Um, the way y'all walked out into the room 
y'all just were holding hands and y'all did a huge circle yeah. around the dance floor. Just we, yeah, we watched, welcoming. We watched a YouTube video on uh, first dance for beginners, and uh, one of the pointers was like, "You need to make an entrance." We're like, "Great, that takes up about thirty seconds." So yeah. Uh -huh. um, and so then we did. We practiced our little spins and twirls. Then the like a few nights before the wedding, we actually our hotel room had a rooftop like terrace, and we were up on the terrace practicing our first dance, which Aww. was so which was so cute. <laughs> and he did say like with that song, he said that our first dance was one of his favorite favorite moments oh, of good. the of the whole night but Aww. yeah it was just it was just the most yeah the p most perfect day it was really cool to see you guys that you were lit up on the dance floor jc oh um, i was getting down with your aunts yeah with yeah. all of my aunts all of my cousins <laughs> Justin also at one point, were you one of the people that was like throwing their shirts around? Like I think I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. That took took my shirt off. <laughs> 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 Which was really good. Um, I don't know what, when you guys kind of headed out. Well, <laughs> yeah, what happened? Because it's on the bingo board. for a couple of dances. Mm. I know, because I saw you posted it. And we kind of drifted into the night. Yeah. 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 Which is normal, yeah, which is good. Normal. How many dances yeah. did you dance, Al? Well, <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I had I wasn't staying at the resort as you guys all right. stayed at the same place. I stayed at a different place. Sure. So I had to prearrange my uh, right. my my ride. And typically at a wedding, I stay about three hours ish. You know. Mm -hmm. So so we got the wedding was at six. So we got picked up at five. And uh, and I told the guys, hey man, uh, I think nine is fine. Uh, or was it eight? It was nine. Nine is fine. No, it started at six. I said, I think nine is plenty of time to be at a wedding. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so the wedding was JC uh, uh, vows and everything. Thirty minutes. We we kind of drank around. You know, drank for a thirty little minutes. Cocktail hour. So I thought seven. I said seven. We'll probably you know have dinner by seven thirty. Now I'm still good. And I it it took a little bit longer at our table <laughs> to get food. I'm not going to say we were the last table to get food. No, I, but you know, I'm I'm thankful. It was all excellent. But but we I, were the last. I started, to get looking, I started looking at my watch. I said, I'm going to have to call Luis because we're not going to be ready. No. So I, I did call him and delay it about another 45 minutes or so. Um, and so I left. I think around 9:45. Okay. But you had the place until five. There was no way in God's green earth that I was going to be there till three, I four, five o'clock in the morning. First of all, I couldn't believe I saw your dad at breakfast the next morning. I was like, "How are you even here?" Yeah. And he said that they uh, shut it down at three. Yeah, we shut it down at three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Started at six. Went to mm -hmm. nine. That's a work day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it was, uh, yeah, until three. And look, I think one of the cutest things was I got a video of Ryan's parents. They were the last ones on the dance floor. Aww. I have a video of them from 2.45 in the morning, the two of them just dancing I can't believe they together. That long. I know, which you. is so, which is amazing because the whole time that we've been planning this wedding and I think they were like 3 a.m. Like that's. That's a yeah. lot, but they they stayed out and they were so proud of it too. Like the next day, they were telling everyone they're like we were the last ones on the dance <laughs> floor, um, which Party was animals. which was so good. And I was so proud of our playlist because Ryan and I put together the playlist and then we gave it to the DJ mm. um, and said, you know, you can figure out the transition. So we had made a part one playlist and a part two. So part one was like you know all the songs that everybody at a wedding would know, like no matter what age or where you're from, whatever, like all the popular yeah. hype songs. And then our part two playlist was like, <laughs> yeah, kind Bad of, bunny. you know, when, yeah. people, you know when, when people start trickling out and some of our like favorite songs from like yeah, college. Keep it going. The naughty songs. Everything. Yeah, yeah. I, get yeah. I get that. I get that. Y'all unfortunately missed my Taylor Swift power hour that I had. That was oh. a question. One of the questions on the test. Are oh, you left Anna. before that too? <laughs> no, I was there. Oh, I was, I was there, there too. I was oh, yeah, there for yeah, the you were there. Taylor. Well, I was, Al and I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> question from the text. How many Taylor Swift songs were a part of Anna's wedding? Do you have a count? Um... Ah, uh, I'd have to, I'd have to check. I guess I walked down the aisle. Over and under is probably dance. fifteen. Did you catch all the Easter eggs I threw in there, like as I it was did. happening? I did. Okay. I did, oh. which I, which I love. I, the one, some references. The one thing that impressed me the most: Ryan doing his vows in Espanol. Which is so cool. the the that, ring exchange. Yes. The ring exchange. Yes. Yeah, the ring exchange. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, how did he learn? Did Ryan know Spanish before? Or did he just kind of? That, that, that was, was impressive. That was one of yeah. Anna's requests. She yeah, said, because really her family from Mexico is going to be there, and there's a lot of Americans that were going to be there. And she said, can you do some of it in, in Spanish? And then you guys requested the ring exchange mm -hmm. to be in Spanish. Yeah. That, and so I looked up traditional ones, and I kind of wrote it out. And then I felt guilty that I was going to ruin the wedding because it was tough. It was a tough, uh, tough words to, mm -hmm. to pronounce in yeah. Spanish if you don't speak it. So I told Anna and Ryan, I said, hey. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm sending you guys the ring exchange so that you guys, so Ryan can practice. Right. Ryan crushed. I think, yeah. he did, I think he did it better than me, honestly. 
Back. Yeah, he first thing he said when he walked up before the wedding, he looked at me and he goes, but and that was so special that you did that like by mixing English and Spanish like every single member of my family even my parents like friends that were all there like have not stopped telling me about how special it was that you did the ceremony that that way I got invited to like your uncle's houses and stuff (laughs) yeah Yeah. (laughs) well that's that's wonderful yeah and it was funny too because Ryan because you did the whole ceremony and then I did my vows first because I knew I couldn't follow Ryan. Right. And then right before Ryan started his, he like let everybody know. He was like, just so you guys know, I don't speak professionally like these two. <laughs> but his vows were he just was fantastic. Great. so yeah. beautiful. No, he was fantastic. He was great. I just like that whole day, I don't think I've ever just felt that like beautiful, that loved, that special, that yeah. pampered. Oh, I had feel. I had my own waiter who like was following what? me around all night, making sure that my hand was never empty. I yes. always had a little bit of tequila. He's actually still here. Come on in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> With the tequila, and it was yeah. I don't know if you guys were still there, but we had a churro truck instead of a wedding cake. They were yeah. coming out fresh. They were setting up the churro truck when we left. Okay, that gives you an idea of our timeline. <laughs> that's pretty good, Kelly. That's pretty good. Yeah, yes. we didn't. There were some things that we didn't do. Like, yeah, we didn't have a wedding cake. Um, I didn't wear a veil just because I wanted my curls to, like, flaunt in the wind. Um, but it, it was just, like, little little tiny things like that. And your dress. My just dress. The nightmare of the dress. <laughs> Everyone yeah. knows the story of the dress that I changed my mind about my wedding dress about three weeks before the wedding. The dress that I had, it, it's a beautiful dress. And people have asked me if I'll post it. I'm actually not going to because you don't, you don't want, want to slander. I like that bad. Well, it's a beautiful dress and there's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't the dress for me. Mm. Yeah. And I don't want other brides to see it and be like, wait, my wedding dress looks like her reject dress. That's smart. Um, you know I'll what I mean? Look at you thinking so, about the yeah. brides. So, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't but, see. I, saw, I love the dress that you changed into to party in. Yes. Oh, yes. yes it, did. it was like a disco ball. Right. Which was something that we had talked about, Kelly. Like a lot of brides do like change into a reception dress. And at first I was like, no, I spent like a lot of money and time on my wedding dress I want to wear it as long as I can but I'm so glad I had a a reception dress to change into yeah it was sparkly and white and like backless and short so it was like it was like a cute little party dress essentially and I'm so glad because as much as I loved my wedding dress it just it gets hot yeah and like my legs get hot it gets heavy it's long um but yeah it was a strapless like off the shoulder dress which i loved um my bridesmaids were in champagne which mm-hmm. were, were stunning i so love them give, was that a website where you can go where everybody uses the same fabric and picks a different style or did you trust they all dress did they all have those dresses made because they're all the same fabric but different styles they were actually all not the same fabric and so the i basically it like it it turned out so incredible i told them i've seen recently like on pinterest that brides do like mix and match for their weddings so i did that so i told my bridesmaids my girls i was like Hey, I just let's just do champagne. You can get whatever fabric like, you one want. It was sequins, and I figured, oh, she went, you know, a little rogue. Oh, the disco yeah. ball dress. Like the same fabric. Yeah. yeah, no. So I told them, I was like, as long as it's champagne, you can get whatever fabric you want, whatever style you want. Because I, I was like, I want you guys to also be comfortable in your, like, whatever dress right. that you're wearing. And, and hopefully be able to wear, get it to wear it and again. And you get to wear it That's again. That's all the brides yeah. always promise. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it was so great for me to see because all of their dresses match their personalities so perfectly. Yeah. Like, my one friend that, like, doesn't really like attention. She just kind of wore a really simple, like, mm-hmm. dress. My other friend who loves attention wore, like, a sequin dress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but all put together, they looked phenomenal. There were so many of them. There was, like. I, 50 of them, wasn't I had 10 bridesmaids, yeah. Oh, <laughs> because yeah. I just, I, I, I'm very fortunate to well, just have what, some incredible what, friends. That's like, that's awesome. Yeah, and we also, we had them all walk down the aisle, you know, like the the bridal party, and we didn't have everybody stand up there with us. So it was just me, Ryan, and JC up there. Because we're like, we're on the beach. We don't want to How it's supposed to be. No, it worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. How'd the flower boy do? Phenomenal. <laughs> Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely phenomenal. My parents, because Justin walked right before me, and my parents, because I walked with both my parents down the aisle. And Justin, so we got the, the, the backside, I guess, the point of view. And so seeing Justin with his flowers, my parents were just... They were like, God, we love him. <laughs> By the way, your nose cleared him. up completely for the wedding. Yeah, yes, dude, I was lucky. screaming on the mic on Thursday because I had bruised my nose trying to I get saw. rid of some blackheads. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my nose cleared up. And also, Ryan was like, hey, by the way, there's a spot next to my grandma at the end of the aisle. And I was like, okay, cool. So I get to the end of the aisle and I start going towards Anna's section. <laughs> and they're like, no, there's no seats for you, <laughs> you over, gotta there. Go over there. So I was like, oh, I got to go to the other end. And I had told you, I was like, you're going to sit on Ryan's yeah. side. We'll have a chair. For you. you didn't show Not up to the rehearsal. Were you nervous? Uh, no, 
Okay. No, not really. But I, was, I just had to throw some pedals. Yeah, and I just told Justin, I was like, you're just walking right in front of me. I was like, just be in front of me, and then you're you're good. Yeah. And so. how'd your guys' uh, first look go? Because you guys oh decided to do the first look photo before the wedding. We did do a first look photo, and I... I'm so glad that we did it. I feel like it kind of took a, bun a lot of my nerves away from like the actual uh -huh. uh, like walking down the aisle moment that I like would have had. And it was it was great. It was actually kind of funny because they had set us up. They found this part in the resort where there was like no other people around. And so they had Ryan facing away and then I was standing behind him and they're going to have me like tap him on the shoulder and he turns around. Right. But he, we happened to, he was facing a door where he could see my reflection oh, no. <laughs> and I could see him like trying so hard to like not look in the door and I was like no it's totally fine mm. and I asked him after I was like you saw it didn't you and he was like yeah but it's okay Aww. and then I also did a first look with my dad Aww. and they're both my dad and Ryan made the exact same joke when they saw me and they were like so is this the second dress <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was so precious and it was the most perfect most beautiful day